Hi, this video is about the Care Room Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show the solution for the November 2015 Grade 3-4 Contest Question 10, which also came up in the Grade 5-6 and 7-8 Contest. So the question is, to do well on a science test on Friday afternoon, Dylan needs to know at least 13 out of 15 different types of clouds. Every day, as soon as he wakes up, he learns four new cloud types. But while he sleeps at night, he forgets two of them. Which day will Dylan have to start studying to know enough types of clouds to do well on a science test? Okay, so now we have to show some kind of visual representation of this pattern of him learning four and then forgetting two at night. So we will start off with the first day of him starting this repeated pattern. So we will have D, which will stand for... This stands for the days. Then we will have M. And now M will stand for what he knows when he, as soon as he wakes up before he learns anything. So right in the morning before he learns anything. And then the A. This represents the number of cloud types that he knows by the afternoon, which is after he's woken up and learned those four new cloud types. Okay. So let's, of course, start off with day one. So as soon as he would wake up, of course he knows nothing before he learns anything. So he, there, he knows zero. But then by the afternoon, after he's learned four, then he has zero plus four is four. All right, so that's for day one. Now day two. Well, he, we know that he, as soon as he wakes up, he forgot 2 from the night. So 4 minus 2 is 2. This is before he learns anything. And then by the afternoon when he learns 4 more, then he has 6. He, he knows 6. Then for day 3, we have 6 minus 2 is then 4 before he learns anything. Then after he learns anything in the afternoon, he then knows 8. Now we can see a pattern here. Well, for the afternoon, it's always going up by 2 for each day. So now, and that also makes sense because we have plus four and then we have minus two. So plus four minus two is also plus two. So it's always going up by two. So now we will just move ahead. So we have day four and we can just add this by two. So here we would have 10. Okay, and then for day five, you would have 12. And day six, he would have no 14 by the afternoon. Now we can see that this is the first day for the sixth day. This is the first time that he knows at least 13. Okay. And this is in the afternoon. And from the question, it says he has his test on Friday afternoon. So this is perfect. So that means that this sixth day, this afternoon when he knows 14, this would be his Friday afternoon. This is the least amount of time. So now we can just take back the five until the first day. So this would be Friday, and then here would be, the day five would be, well this is Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday, and Sunday. Therefore, for the first day that he starts, it must be a Sunday. Okay, so let's look at the options. Well, it must be option G, Sunday. If you'd like to know more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at caributests.com.